Hello all this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. It's been a very quite long time I have not uploaded any videos on my channel. I have been uh, receiving a lot of requests to upload a good videos. So I'm planning to have a lot of uh, videos every day from now onwards. So please keep in touch with our channel uh, by hitting the subscribe button. As you know by thumbnail uh, you would have got that uh, today's uh, topic is about uh, sketcher environment on nx23 version so now in this video i'm going to take uh, example of this particular uh, sketcher environment and uh, I am going to create this in NX23. So let's get started. So this is the NX welcome window. So I'll just go to new file and in new file uh, you will not able to see the sketcher model. So basically in other applications you might have seen the sketcher environment but in NX we will have a model here and we need to go to inside the model. So I am going to create a model and uh, in this model we will be entering into sketcher environment. So how we can enter just go to sketch and you can just select any one of the plane and you can just click ok this will take you to a sketcher environment so once you have a sketcher environment you can see here one is horizontal line and one is vertical lines so you can use these two lines for constraining any of the uh, circle or any curves okay and uh, one more thing is here you can see show movable so this should be on uh, when you are doing a sketcher environment so this is you cannot able to see this uh, command in the older versions so in the new version this is introduced so it is nothing but it will show uh, the different color for the movable curves or any feature so suppose if you have a, a line which is not constrained completely in that case it will be shown in a different color and if it is completely constrained it will show in a different color so now uh, let's begin with this exercise now so now you can see here this is the sketcher and um, as you know that I always start with the circles first so you can see here 18 diameter of circle and 36 diameter of circle so I am going to create these two circles and uh, these two circles first so let me go to NX and I will just go to circle and this is my circle center and this is the first circle and this is my second circle okay so now you can see here as soon as i create the circle in the older version of nx we used to get all the dimensions automatically comes so now here it is it will not be coming so and you can see here the color of this particular curve is something like orange or different so it means that it is not completely constrained so in order to make it constrained you need to provide a dimension for this once you do a dimension it will be the color of the curves will be changed to black color it means it is completely constrained so whatever the curves whatever the lines we are going to create we are going to make it as a black color it is which is nothing but a completely constrained and then we will move on to the next step so now you can see uh, the two circles are created now those are 18 diameter and 36 diameter so what I'm going to do is just select the circle and you can see the di dimension here you can just double click on it and give it as an 18 diameter so now it will ask you to fit the particular um, sketch you can just skip it and now you can see it is 18 diameter and the one more is this is going to be our 36 diameter okay so even though if i give this uh, circle diameter it is not in a black color so it means that it is you can see here it is able to move along this direction so how we are going to you know constrain it so just go over here you can see you can pick the point and you can pick the line and now you can just give coincide so once you do coincide you can see now the two circles are completely dark so it means that it is completely constrained so the one more way is to identify whether your sketch is fully constrained or not you can just go to sketch here in the bottom sketch is fully defined okay okay so now uh, if we go to sketch you can see here there are two more circles with 24 and 54 diameter so now again i'll just go to circles and on this i'll just create two uh, random circles and once this is done i'm going to give the dimension for this just select this circle and double click on this particular dimension first is 24 diameter okay 
and the next one is 54 diameter okay so now even if i give two diameters this is not completely dark because this can be moved along this direction so we have a dimension here so you can see here 82 diameter sorry 82 mm so i'll just give that dimension so how you can give so we don't have a dimension uh, particular command here as we have in the older nx version so in order to give these two we need to select this center and we need to select this center so once you do select these two centers you will see this dimension now we can able to enter it at as 82 so you can see here now all the circles are in dark shape so now uh, you can see there are two horizontal lines here so i'm going to draw those two horizontal lines so just go to line and select this and similarly i'm going to create on this as well okay and then we can see here this is the profile that we need to create so in order to create that you can see here there are two lines which are construction lines and this is an arc here construction arc so this we are going to create first so based on that we are going to create the other profile so now what i'll do is i'll just go to construction line so we can create a line first and then convert it to construction so this is the one line and I'll just switch off this and this is the second line so between these two there is a 60 degree angle so how we are going to give the angle just select this line and this line you can see the angle just give it as 60 degree and one more there is an arc here with a radius of 60 so this arc we are going to create so just go to arc and select this center from this point to this point okay so this radius should be 60 okay so now I'm going to convert these all three into construction line so just right click and convert to reference convert to reference and convert to reference so this is the reference uh, profile we have got and now what we need is we need these two profiles so how we are going to create so already we have a curve here this curve i'm going to make an offset on the both the sides you can see from here the six is the radius which is nothing but six mm of offset and 12 mm of offset so we are going to go to offset here and select this and i'll just enter six and apply and similarly i'll just give the same way sorry offset this is going to be 12 mm and just click ok so now we have got the two profiles and we just need to connect with the arc so how we are going to do we'll just go to an arc and this time i'll just switch off this point on a curve and end point i'm going to select here this end point this end point similarly this side as well okay and also this side okay so this is done so our complete profile is in dark uh, color so it means that it is fully constrained but now still you can see here sketch is partially defined with two movable curves so why it is showing like this because we have two construction lines here which are not defined the length is not defined either you can give the length for this suppose if you select here you can see this length so this length you, you can able to define or you can trim it so how we will trim press t for trimming the command so i'll just trim this and trim this so once you trim this you can see our sketch is fully defined okay so now we have this curve so i'm going to draw this so I'll just go to line and draw a perpendicular line here. So whenever I try to pick this, you know, arc, you can you can see here I'm now unable to pick it. So because we have switched off this particular point on a curve. So now we can able to pick this point on a curve, and I'll just draw it like this. And then we have a fillet here, fillet of radius 18. So I'll just go to fillet 
select this two and here the radius should be 18 okay now you can see our this line is being trimmed so how we will do that we will just extend this and extend this okay now you can see our all the circles all the lines are in dark so now i am left with only this line so i'm going to draw that so just go to line and select this point and this point okay and now we'll just trim this line so now you can see our sketch is fully defined and our model is uh, you know updated so this is how we can make a sketch environment so in future i'm going to bring out uh, more practice models please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys